Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Arvin, with another manga volume review. This is going to be on The Promised Neverland. Yes, I am doing quite a bit of these videos. Uh, the Promised Neverland, volume 10. I am uh, trying to catch up really to the chapter by chapter uh, that's, that's happening right now in Shonen uh, Jump. So anyways, uh, make sure you keep up with these uh, volume reviews. Um, I will have quite a bit of them coming out in the next few weeks so make sure you watch them all um before i continue my review though i want to say a few things one if you have not done so already please subscribe to my channel hit that bell button if you guys don't mind and be notified when, you, when i go live and upload videos also uh guys consider being a patreon and uh check out my giveaway happening right now on my channel so make sure you check that out uh you guys will not regret the items that i'm giving away this time so make sure you check it out in my channel if you're new to here uh, lastly, uh, go check out the rest of these volumes, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All those are in my channel. There is a spoiler alert to this one because I will talk about it in some detail. So if you're watching the anime or if you're not up to this point reading-wise, you probably shouldn't watch this video unless you don't mind it being spoiled. Okay, so at this point... Emma and the other kids have a race at the revolution, uh, or the rebellion, sorry, not, not revolution, and they really have gone into attacking um, the demons, and we're really at a state of what's going to happen, what's going on, um, you, you just don't know what's, what's, what's all going to happen. Um, I really am excited to see what all is going to happen in the next volume. Uh, because this volume was great. I, I said it previously in the other volumes, uh, 9 and 8, that the series has really picked up its pace of intensity, and volume 8 was, uh, if not as good as volume 1, better as than volume 1, maybe. Volume 9 was really good, too, and volume 10 was amazing as great. So, uh, at this point, I really don't want to stop reading, and this is why it's so easy for me to bust these out because uh they're so good i just want to continue reading it more and more and more um we have three of the demons left in this series uh one is the the twin of the the one that they killed in the previous volume he starts to eat her up the other one had two companions and we've uh, quickly found out that his companions are dead uh and then the the main guy um Le, Le, Le Voix, Le, Le Voix, something like that. He has a weird name. Anyways, Emma uh, is distracting him, and he quickly figures out that he, he knows that she's trying to distract him and stuff like that. Uh, we'll get back to their part because there's more, there's more to it, but most of Emma and this demon is towards the end, so I'll, I'll explain that right now. Um, first, they kill one of the friends of him, closest friend, and this demon uh, essentially was the one that created this hunting ground. He did it in a way, uh, Lord Bayon, uh, he did it in a way because he was tired of not being able to hunt and bored with just having uh, reproduced these kids and just eat them cold. So he would request them to come alive so he can hunt for them and et cetera, et cetera. So he was kind of hard to kill. To be honest, uh, at very various parts of this volume, I thought they weren't going to kill him, but they actually do kill him in this volume. The other one is the twin. He kind of goes crazy and goes wild, and um, he causes a lot of damage to the group as well because he is wild. Uh, he goes crazy because his sister got killed in the previous volume, so he just kind of, uh, she's just sure to kill everyone that hurt his sister, that killed his sister, but he is killed not other by then uh the the adult that emma and ray were traveling with now again we don't have a name for him they haven't given us a name but it is lucas uh friend so he shows up and kills his demon um and saves the day essentially um then we go back to emma emma is trying to distract this demon and the demon is quite a hassle i'm going to show you his name because i don't know it's grand duke of Le Le we Levius, maybe. Uh, hopefully, this this camera can focus on his name. Um, oh well, it won't focus on it. But anyways, uh, the Duke Demon is apparently very fast uh, to distract him, so Emma can kind of recollect her thoughts. 
they set up all these guns automatically to shoot at him, and they all shoot at him, and he catches all the bullets. I mean, that's how fast he is. So, Emma really is in a great danger, and they lure him, lure him in into an area um, where uh, we think that he is going to kill him, and he doesn't. Uh, he actually gets electrified, and Emma uh, tries to attack him. She actually is not able still to attack him. Uh, this demon is pretty smart. He he lives for the hunt. And, and, and the entire volume, not just this one, but 8th and, and the ninth, they explain how he really wants to hunt. He wants to feel like he's being hunted and that if he makes a mistake, he will die. That's to the extent he goes. The conversation him and him I have is it's perfect to see the ideals of what Emma has and the ideals of this demon. This demon, he wants to feel like there's fun to it, that the human is smart enough that the human can kill him. He wants to fear the human so that when he does kill the human, the the food tastes better to him. So, anyways, he is definitely, definitely a big enemy of the series. And anyways, what ends up happening is um, they have to destroy his mask because the mask is what really is uh, keeping from them being able to kill him. And his mask is finally destroyed at the end of the of the uh, volume. And again, by Lucas's friend, he shows up, and now he's there with Ray. And now we're gonna see what's gonna happen next. Now I'm excited for the next volume. Uh, this volume really, really, really sped up as well. We finally got rid of all the other demons. He's the only demon left. And, man, if the kids are able to, to kill him, they there's probably not that many casualties. Now, a lot of people got hurt. Almost every single team that pursued the other demons got hurt. Everyone got hurt. Um, it wasn't an easy, easy battle. But there is kind of a reinforcement that they weren't expecting that is showing up and helping them. So I'm also excited for the adults um, meet up with Lucas. If they even get to meet up, I kind of feel like one of them might actually die before they actually meet up for the first time in years. So I hope not, but that might be the case. Anyways, guys, uh, make sure you give a like to this video. Let me know if I should be reviewing The Promise Neverland. I, I know a lot of people like it. And it is coming back next year, 2020. So I'm pretty excited for the next uh, season, even though I probably have read past the point of what they're going to air next season. But anyways, still think that is a great series. People are really, really going to enjoy this series. Uh, and they do make a third uh, season where maybe this takes place. Then this in particular is probably going to be the best part of the third season. This might be the ending of the second season. I could be wrong, but I don't know. Anyways, uh, out of 10, I'm going to give this one obviously an 8.5 out of 10. I think it deserves that high of a, of a rating. Make sure you guys give a like, uh, share this video, uh, go check out my giveaway video as well. Consider being a Patreon and subscribing, especially if you're watching up to this point. Might as well subscribe. Uh, you're not watching up to this point for no reason, so subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for your love and support, and like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.